Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to set up an e-commerce workflow for Shopify in HubSpot. Email is essential for e-commerce marketers in order to add a human touch to a very digital process. When done right, email can boost sales and customer interaction. Not only that it will attract new customers, but it will also keep your existing clients coming back. Email gives you the ability to build credibility with your audience by sharing helpful and informative content about your product. HubSpot workflows have been reimagined specifically for the Shopify and HubSpot integration. They have turned it into a platform-level feature that any app can leverage. When users connect their store, they'll see three pre-built workflows and settings specific to e-commerce. Battling the giants will always be a challenge, but the HubSpot integration with Shopify goes a long way toward leveling the playing field. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Before you proceed, you need to integrate your Shopify on your HubSpot account. You also need to install your HubSpot tracking code on your Shopify site. We have a tutorial for that and the link is in the description. After you've logged in both of your accounts in Shopify and HubSpot, go to the HubSpot main dashboard. Click the settings cog located on the top right. Select the integration section and click e-commerce on the drop down. Under the e-commerce page, you should see the link e-commerce account, which is Shopify. Scroll down to the e-commerce workflow area. There are three different types of e-commerce workflow. You can create a workflow to welcome new customers, follow up abandoned carts, and re-engage with old customers. If you haven't created a workflow yet, you should see the Create Workflow button, or else you will see the workflow right away like what we have in the follow-up on abandoned carts and just edit it. To get started, click the Create Workflow button and a preset workflow will appear. Just click the Expand Actions button to view the entire workflow. It is up to you and how you want to set this up. Just click the Action and set up the task. You can set the wait time or the timing on when the emails will be sent. Choose the email template that you want to send to your customer respectively. Make sure that the email template is published before you select it or else the email won't be sent and it will have a red exclamation mark. Now, if you see a red exclamation mark of the email action, this means that the email template that you have selected is not yet published. So, once the workflow is cleared with the exclamation mark, turn on the workflow by clicking the workflow switch located on the right. It should give you a prompt with a summary of the workflow. Just click the Turn Workflow On button to get this workflow running. Now that you have the workflow turned on, the customer type indicated will start receiving the emails automatically. Do this same thing on the other two e-commerce workflow and you're good. So that is how you set up an e-commerce workflow for Shopify in HubSpot. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon.